Hi, Taruni. Good afternoon. Hi, sir. Good afternoon. How are you, Taruni? I'm fine, sir. How about you? I'm good. Thank you, Taruni. Taruni, you are based out which part of India? Like, where are you basically from? Sir, I'm from Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. Yes, sir. In Tamil Nadu, which part of Tamil Nadu? Sir, near to Kaimato. What is your weather now? Good? Yet <laughs> hot? It's somewhat hot, sir. Ah, okay. So good. So I was going through your profile. So yes. even our client also, they are in the best out. Uh, but I'm conducting the interview in the Bangalore office. Yes. We are in the Bangalore. But uh, our client, where you are going to end work, uh, our uh, end client, okay. uh, they are in the finance uh, uh, you know, domain. They're working in the biggest finance company in the US. You are going to work there. So do you have any any finance domain uh, exposure? No, so I didn't have finance exposure, but uh, mm -hmm. I have a, a data analyst experience in uh, uh, government production. Okay, in government, you are telling that mention that you are a finance department, the work, your project, correct? I am in a I am working as a quality data analyst. Yeah, yeah. Where yeah. where we have collected the data uh, from the production department, and mm -hmm. we have to analyze uh, what are the cuts inputted for the production. And mm -hmm. uh, what is the uh, output uh, of the garments produced out of that cuts? And we have to find out what are the good pieces and uh, what is the defective pieces percentage. And we have to check those percentage of the good pieces and defective pieces, whether it will uh, fulfill the uh, customer requirements to uh, pack up with the boxes. And then we have to uh, work on that uh, according to uh, pack up the boxes and okay. uh, input to the uh, foreign customers. When you, when you are telling the foreign customer, when you are comparing, what sort of analysis do you do in your so, project? Yes, sir. Uh, they will uh, give us the requirement. Uh, that means uh, they will uh, give us the uh, size-wise requirements of the garments which they need. Example, we had worked on that uh, De Decathlon uh, customer. Mm -hmm. They mentioned uh, if they uh, need a 3000 quantity, but they will mention uh, in the S size if they want a particular quantity in M size, particular quantity like that, they will mention size wise uh, splitter. And we have to uh, produce the, that size wise garment and we have to pack up and we have to uh, send those uh, boxes to the uh, foreign customers. Okay. So when you're you working with the foreign customer, you're dealing with the client, foreign client, foreign customer. Yes, if sir. any challenges come, how overcome and how you tackle that situation? Yes, uh, I will discuss with them. And uh, first, I will analyze what are, what is the uh, error and what is the uh, uh, difficulties they are facing. And I will analyze. Uh, no, no, when you them. face the challenges, how you overcome that challenges? Yes, tell now what is your approach? Face? Till now, I didn't face any challenges, sir. But if oh. I uh, if I would uh, face any ch challenges in the future, I will definitely uh, discuss with the uh, teammates and uh, I will discuss with the clients also. And mm -hmm. I will uh, do my best to overcome that challenge. Okay, nice. So you mentioned that the data management project you, you were doing in that uh, your last company, correct? Yes, so, yes, I have mentioned. What exactly? Can you explain the elaborate the details? Yes, uh, as I told you, uh, if the uh, customer has sent the order quantity to us, first we have to analyze uh, what is the shipment date. We have to give the uh, production to them. So we have to uh, we have to build a plan according that, and we have to work on that uh, whether the cuts is enough or not, and we have to uh, import those cuts to the lines, and we have to sp split up those. Uh, if we, if they give only the particular uh, timings of fifteen days or less than fifteen days, means we have to uh, split uh, uh, those cuts to uh, different lines. We should not work on particular line because it uh, exits uh, then fifteen days, right? So we uh, split up those cuts and we can plan accordingly to complete that uh, work within that fifteen days. Because after production, there is many. Uh, that means there are many processes like uh, we have to uh, check those garments, we have to separate uh, good pieces and we have to uh, find out the defective pieces and replace with the good pieces instead of that defective piece. So after uh, finding out the good pieces, we have to pack accordingly to the size wise and we have to uh, box it in a particular uh, size wise split up and we have to 
after inspection we have to uh, import those goods so there are many processes after production so we have to plan accordingly and we have to work on that so mainly uh, for these purposes we go, we go for data management for our planning so you are a very good strong knowledge in sql correct yes sir yes sir okay okay how much will rate your sql so 9.5 9.5 9.5 or 9.5 okay what is sql view and how it is helping to you know yes, daily sir. life so sql is uh, sql is nothing but a saved sql uh, query it is also called as uh, virtual table uh, what is the advantage of uh, sql uh, means uh, even though uh, non it users can also uh, use that view uh, because even though they don't don't know programming knowledge they can use that uh, uh, to view that database schema then mm -hmm. uh, it is uh, used to implement that column level and uh, row level security. So these are the advantages of uh, SQL. View. Okay. What, what is different with ranking and dense ranking? Yes, sir. Uh, ranking means it will not assign the uh, uh, ranking values to the similar ones. Then uh, dense rank will assign the uh, rank, uh, that means uh, it will assign the ranking values to the similar values. That means if the two values are repeated means rank will assign, uh, if two values are similar means rank will assign one, one rank. And uh, then the next ranking value will assign second, uh, third rank only because already two places are occupied by the first two data. But dense rank will assign uh, if that first two data is assigned as one means, then the uh, third data which is holding the uh, third rank will assign as the second rank one. We say. That is the difference between the rank and dense rank. Okay, fine. Perfect. Yes, so, uh, if you considering like a SQL, uh, how frequently you write the SQL code? Yes, so, uh, I write this in SQL program. What is the Writing difference between union and a union all? So a uh, union means it will uh, include all the uh, data in the two tables without duplicates. But union all means it will uh, combine uh, two columns of the uh, two tables without uh, including the duplicate. What is the difference between having clause and where clause? Yes, sir. Uh, that means uh, having uh, where clause means it filters uh, only the records that uh, fulfills only the specified conditions. And then... Uh, Coming to having, uh, it will uh, that means it will filter the group of values, and uh, based on the condition, it will, will filter the records. Then uh, coming to where class, it uh, implements only the row operations, and then coming to having, it will implement the column operations. Then uh, where class we can use uh, we we can use with any of the statements like uh, delete, select, update statements like that. But in having class, we, uh, we can use only one select statement. And then uh, in bar class, uh, we cannot use that group by uh, classes and all. But uh, when we are using having, we should use group by uh, before the uh, before using the having class. So. OK, nice. What is the difference between DBMS and RDBMS? Yes, sir. DBMS, uh, in DBMS, uh, data is stored in the file format, sir. And then coming to RDBMS, uh, the data is stored in tablet format. And then uh, coming to DBMS, there is no security of data. But in RDBMS, there are multiple layers of security. And then in this one, a normalization is uh, an, a not available in uh, uh, DBMS. And then coming to RDBMS, normalization is available. Then what are the examples of uh, DBMS means it comes under a XML file for me. And then examples of uh, DBMS or SQL Server, MySQL, uh, PostgreSQL, like that. Okay. What is schema? How will classify schema? Yes, sir. A schema is nothing but the entire classification of the entire database. Sir. Then uh, there are uh, three kinds of uh, three types of schema. One is that star schema. Snowflake schema, hybrid or uh, galaxy schema. In uh, star schema, one uh, fact table is surrounded by uh, multiple uh, 
dimension table so in and then coming to a snowflake in that one fact table is surrounded by many dimension table and then uh, that dimension table is surrounded by many dimension tables so. then uh, coming to hybrid or uh, uh, galaxy uh, schema in that uh, many fact table is surrounded by many dimension tables so. okay perfect nice Which version of a SQL you are using right now? So, can you repeat? Which, which version of a database SQL server you are using? Yes, sir. I am using a, a Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. Which version? 2020. 2020. Okay. What is the difference between data and uh, information? Yes, sir. So, uh, data is nothing but the raw information. That is uh, collected from the sources. Information is nothing but uh, the complete. Uh, that means converted uh, raw data, uh, complete information uh, that contains the complete uh, information of the data. Okay. Okay. That means meaningful, meaningful insights. It contains meaningful uh, conversion of raw data into meaningful insights. It's called information. Okay. You are a very good, strong knowledge on data visualization, correct? Yes. yes sir. Why, why data visualization is important for any business or data analytics professionals? Yes. Sir. So uh, when we uh, when we are explaining with the data or uh, in a table format, means it will not be uh, easily understand understandable by the uh, clients or uh, managers. If we... Uh, view over uh, data in a data, uh, visualization, that means by creating a dashboards or anything, it is clearly, uh, even though uh, for a fractional second, they can't understand the, what is the really happening in that. So we can, uh, I think uh, data visualization is better uh, to visualize the data. Which visualization tool you are using? So Tableau. How, how Tableau is better, better than to Power BI? Can you tell me? Why not a Power BI? Why you are using Tableau? Yes, so in uh, Tableau, uh, it, it has a, a drag and drop interface. Within a fraction of a second, if we drag a, a dimension and a, a place in rows and columns, means it will give a fraction of, in, within a fraction of a second, it will give the uh, dashboards, uh, it will uh, create a graph or something, a table format like that. So it is uh, having many advantages. We can, uh, the, in other, other another method, we can uh, store, uh, we can uh, Im import many of the uh, data sources. So it is uh, better than other data, so, uh, other visualization tools. Okay, okay. What about the Tableau, uh, you know, different between Tableau desktop and Tableau server? Yes, sir. So uh, in Tableau desktop, we uh, do all the developments of the dashboards. Uh, then after that means uh, it uh, nearly ninety percentage of work is done in the Tableau desktop only. Then uh, after creating all the dashboards, we are uh, um, sharing the dashboards to the uh, consent teams. Means we can use the server to um, share with them. So a two percent ninety percentage of work is done in the Tableau desktop and two percentage of the uh, work is done in Tableau server. So, Okay, nice. What is Tableau Show Me? So Tableau Show Me is nothing but the charts that are, uh, th uh, that means the possibility of the charts for that uh, particular data we are uh, importing there. Okay. How to, how to share a Tableau or dashboard? Can you tell me the steps? Okay, so uh, in Tableau, there is the option data. That we have to use the Tableau public and we have to um, share that uh, dashboards which we created to our teams. So that uh, other Tableau users can also log in uh, the Tableau and they can also view that uh, tab, uh, the dashboards which we are sharing. Them. In Python, which library you are using for data visualization? Yes, uh, I uh, I have used that uh, library such as Pandas, NumPy, and Matplotlib, but I'm uh, well versed uh, in uh, Pandas and Matplotlib. So. 
ओके ओके Why were uh, you know left last organization? What happened? Yes, sir. Um, after my marriage, I'm not able to work uh, within that uh, due to some of the issues. I'm not able to go for the work. So mm -hmm. after long gap, I got an opportunity to uh, attend the interview in this company. So I think uh, it it will be giving me the great opportunity to explore myself. Too. What do you know about our companies? So, uh, uh, to my friends, I know about your company that uh, uh, here they uh, they are exploring their knowledge and uh, they uh, the teammates are very supportive to work on their projects. Mm -hmm. And uh, even though if we are uh, not able to uh, overcome that issues. They will be very helpful. Uh, in your company, the teams are very supportive and helpful to overcome the issues and uh, be successful in the every project. So, so I think it is a better for me. Uh, it is a good opportunity to work with your team. Okay, great, uh, Taruni. Nice to meet you. Do you have any any question for us? Yes. Sir. So, uh, can I know uh, how about the performance and uh... yeah, your performance is excellent, and I I'll forward the same thing to the next round of HR team. They will conduct in a further process. Yes, All right. Yeah. Yes, Thank you. All the best, Taruni. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.